Hello? I'm 12. Shit, dialogue boost, speaker off. Order attack, move! Hey, I would Trevor walk in the house, everybody gangster. There you are, you little shit. Are you looking for this? Oh my god, my dad looks like... <laughs> Dude, very funny. Michael you fucking know, looks a real like asshole. a porn star What did dad. you just fucking say to me? Stop it! You two, you, you're ruining my fucking yoga! Somebody say yoga? <gasps> Trevor? Michael. Hey. Hey, see you, man. <laughs> hey, yeah, what's is. up, man? Of course, I'm not the one that's been resurrected. 
Ain't this Graham? Yeah, well... I got in a bit of an awkward situation. Mm, you're telling me, bro. Yeah. One of those fake your own deaths to your best buddy, and then run off with the dough, and then live in a big mansion. Awkward yeah. situations. That's yeah. Way of looking at it. Yeah, do you have any other ways of looking at it? Because I am all out. Yeah. But it was a long time ago, man. I've been in witness protection. I still am. That's great. That's great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where are my manners, right? <laughs> Amanda, it is good to see you. Oh, I missed you. You used to be fatter. <laughs> nice new tits, by the way. Jimmy, you, you used to be thinner. But, uh, I can't blame you. Who are you? I must stay. I'm Fabian. Good lord. Where's Tracy? Where's your sister, Jim? Um, she, she's, uh, she's, uh, she's trying out for TV. She's what? Yeah, she's auditioning for fame or shame. Fame or shame? The fuck are you talking about? You know, it's that talent slash skills show. She loves it, you guys know that. What's her talent? Dancing. Oh, Christ, she's a horrible dancer. Michael! Come. She might disagree with you on that. Jesus Christ, what, now? Now? Where? Um, the Maze Bank Arena. Oh, little Tracy being humiliated. Let's go, we go get her. We? Yeah, we, what, are you gonna stand here and argue while your daughter becomes a national laughing stock? Huh? You're worse than I thought. Now let's go, come on! Alright. Alright. So, Mike, what were you doing? I was making myself a juice. Crap. Broccoli, raw kale, fish oil. This recipe I got is packed with nutrients, fibers, vitamins, and it don't taste bad. I'll send you the recipe. Anyway, get this. I'm making it. The blender slips. Juice goes... Juice goes everywhere. I'm about to clean it up when I find this bag of grass. Big fucking bag. Jimmy's, right? Okay, just that moment, Amanda comes in. Hey, no more of that. Sees me there. I didn't ask for a blow-by-blow blow of how you lost your last ounce of masculine pride. I wanted to know what you've been doing for a decade. Easy, T. Don't T me. Hey, if anyone needs kale, my friend. I'm beyond pale, okay? It's too late for kale and its magical powers to have any effect on me. Fine. Or yoga. Or talk therapy. I'm a crank, cannibalism, an incest kind of guy. Oh, don't worry, T. They'd skip that. What? They'd skip that talk and go straight to shock treatment with your ass. You two chilled out to say my name, you fat slob. You two relaxed and you laid back, Los Santos embarrassment, huh? Is one letter all you can bring yourself to wrap your slothful lips around? Whoa, dude. You do not let the fuck up. I got ten years worth of venting to do. The let up, my friend, is a long way off. Fine, fine. Do what the it's fuck you lot. want. Who is it? I didn't see my car. Do what the fuck you want. What? What's up? What's up, baby? Well, I, I want to save your daughter from making an ass of herself. Oh, really, man? Really? What is it? Money or a fight? Hey, I got what? Trevor. What do you come here looking for? I came looking for you. And I found you. And I found you. Yes, you did. I know who you are, Michael Townley. You're in a new place, with some new friends and some fruity fucking habits, but you're still my running buddy. You can't undo that. Yeah, 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 sure, okay, whatever. Great!
Nice work. Okay, this will be it. The Maze Bank Arena. What? Let's find them. I can continue playing my game, or you want to watch something? Oh. I said I could, could continue playing my game, or do you want to watch something? Come on, come on, come on! These spaces are reserved for production vehicles. Got these tickets to the Bender's game today, so I'm all good. <laughs> come on, you dipshit. Ah, that host, man. He's like any closeted TV presenter. Bitter as fucking vinegar. Where the fuck are they? Hello, sir. May I please have your name? Where the fuck is Tracy Townley, huh? Tracy fucking DeSanta. Fuck, screw that! Where the fuck's Laszlo? All right. Yeah. <laughs> that was really... <laughs> All right, it's the auditions, Fame or Shame, season 14, right here in Vinewood, San Andreas. Coming up next, it's Tracy DeSanta. Judges, Tracy DeSanta. Yes. <laughs> Hi. All right, Tracy's a dancer, but she also likes acting, modeling, and working with children. That's, that's beautiful. You're so original, like a, oh. a basket full of puppies or a <laughs> rainbow or a pile of puke. Oh. Who are these clowns? That's my dad and Trevor? Two dads. Oh, <laughs> Great. Wow. Very San Andreas. What are you guys doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? Okay. Leave my fucking uh, straw alone. Relax, chill. Make yourself at home. He's got a little show to do here. Okay. Three, two, one. All right, it's fame or shame for Tracy DeSanta. Music. Take what your daddy's gave you, honey. Mm. Get that out. Stuff a 20 in this. Oh! <laughs> fucking do something about this? <laughs> uh, all right, that's enough. Oh! Oh! I said that's enough! Hey! Oh, 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 I got security! Uh, security! Uh, what you fucking oh, say? Come on! Big guy. Come on! Right there. No. Oh, fuck no. No. Come here, you little shit! No. Tracy, go home! Hey, where you running off to? Fuck. They took our ride, we take their truck. Really Get in the truck, Michael! No kidding. I got a deposit on that truck! We're running that trip down. Hey, take a left up here! Fucking idiot! How can you sit there and watch your daughter get treated like that? Hey, you raise a daughter in this town, you get used to stunts. It's poor parenting. Don't... We're gonna flatten his toy car in this big rig. Don't you worry. Oh, boy. You pissed off the wrong hillbilly now, Laszlo. You knew it happened one day. They wouldn't kill a celebrity, would they? It's not legal. Fucking Laszlo. I knew he was an asshole. Just push him off the fucking road! It's only a battery car, come on! This ain't exactly a racer. I saw him turn left! Look at him! He's on the train tracks! We can have a little fun with him. Well, let's not try to kill this prick, all right? When we crush his little toy car, who knows what'll happen? What was I thinking, buying a hybrid? 
My image! A piece of shit! I knew this city would be full of douchebags! Can we speed it up a little? Huh? Maybe by throwing your fat carcass over the side. Head right up here. Calm it down. Great. I'm about to die because of a TV show that nobody watches. Can't get enough of the celebrities, can you? Ten fucking minutes in LS. Shut up! That cocksucker might be famous, but oh. We'll get him! We'll get him! But well, we're sure taking our time about it. Ah, ah! He's going down into the L.S. River. I can see that. I hate that closeted man whore on the TV. I hate him on the radio. I hate him even more in person. He was never funny. The little shit's all out of juice. Hey, 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 guys. You run out of batteries, huh? I didn't mean anything by it, all right? Oh, yeah? Well, that little girl sat on my lap when she was two years old, and I swore to God that I would rip the fucking skin off anyone who fucking wronged her. Look, I'm just a dumb A-list celebrity trying to entertain America, okay? I got a lot of stuff going on right now, dude, besides you trying to kill me. Now I got multiple sexual harassment lawsuits, plus I'm an addict, all right? And I've relapsed. I can't stop jacking, dude. I jack it in traffic. What's your talent, uh, huh? I mean, aside from love and sex. Dude, haven't you seen my show? It's not live, it's not funny. That's my genius, I got no fucking talent. You clearly ain't being humble, T. Huh. You proved your point. Huh. This is your daughter. You should be wanting to rip the fucking ponytail off the back of this guy's head! And you! Huh? Pants. Off. Uh, uh, okay. There you go. Uh, uh, Alright. What are you doing now? I want you to dance sexy, celebrity, hmm? I mean, I need music, or... Are you trying to fucking annoy me, huh? I'll, I'll dance. Good. <laughs> All right, all right, now drop it like it's hot, all right? I want to see you get nice and low. Come on, lower, oh, lower, come on. Oh, oh, please don't kill me, okay? I'm supposed to be on a magazine cover next week. All right, all right, please come on, get no. up. Take hey, off, go, now, before I change my mind. I got it all on my camera, you fucking pussy. The world's gonna see your shit. <laughs> I'm going home. How the fuck did you do it without me for nine years, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Dave. We need to talk. I was about to tell you the same thing. Okay. Meet me at Galileo Observatory as soon as you can get there. Okay. I need a cab as soon as you can. No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of minutes. Appreciate it. Hey, Lester. Mike, hey, uh, I'm transferring your cut of the jewel store take to your account. Madrazo's already got the house money, so you can rest easy there. <laughs> ah, thank God for that.
Where can I take you? Pacific Bluffs. All right, let's hit the road. No, I don't mean waiting for me. Okay, buddy. There you go. <laughs> gonna take off. I'm not in the mood for this shit. This fucking bullshit. As you wish, Michael. Can I ask you something, Doc? I mean, you're a wise, kind, know-it-all kind of guy. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you believe in evil? No. No, I don't. I'm a man of science. Evil is a construct made by people who wish to indulge childish fantasies or by people who wish to judge others. It all comes back to the father-mother syndrome, which is what we spent last year on. Yeah, well, you obviously never met my old buddy. We call him Tony. I thought he was called Trevor. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot I told you about him. God. Don't, don't worry. Everything you tell me is in strict confidence. Didn't you tell me that if I turn things over, you know, start it again, that the universe will find some way to forgive me? Wasn't that you? And have you turned things over? Well, no. I mean, you know, not really. But Why does this have point. an extra bun? I, I want it to. That is the point. What's been going on exactly, Michael? I think you'll call this a bad relay. Relapse is a vital part of recovery. Oh, boy. Where do I start? I went back into the business. That business? I gotta be honest with you, Doc. I mean, why am I paying you all this money if not to be honest, for once? It felt good. That government guy I told you about, he got wind of it. It's fine. Expected. <laughs> Problem is, he's not the only one. He fucking found me, Doc. My old pal, Trevor. He's alive and he ain't going nowhere. This is bad, Doc. You gotta help me. Hmm. Honesty's an obstacle for you, Michael. Have you considered that transparency might be less painful than obfuscation? Mm. Mm. Hmm. Anything else you want to tell me? Sometimes I'm fine, Doc, and sometimes I'm a fucking maniac. It's like I'm two different people, and I don't like either one of them. I think split personality is the least of your problems. You're deranged. Well? Just don't like myself very much, Doc. And that's the truth. Hmm. What about your sexual problems, Michael? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Q, 
Keep working it. This is great. <sighs> if I could just get all these people off my back, Doc, I'd be doing a lot better. Fascinating. You may actually be a rare combination of a sociopath and a deluded psychopath. Either that or a more classic case of a weak pup who was weaned too soon by an angry mother. What the hell does that mean? It means that's about all we have time for. I really want you to work on yourself. Think about the person you'd like to be and really obsess about it. Next week, I'll tell you how to become that person. And remember, brother, we're all rowing together. Now, cross that ocean. Oh, by the way, your insurance ran out. Listen, I don't suppose you could pay cash from now on. If I'm hearing correctly, you've clearly got some. Yeah. Okay. Close the door on your way out. And buddy, chin up, okay? I'd like to order a cab, please. Stay where you are. I got a driver right around the corner. Thanks. Galileo Observatory. Sure thing, man. Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought... that boat thing. Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you!
Hey, look, another fucking cab. Come on, get the lead out. You bet. Here we go. What in the fuck am I watching? Competition coming up. Look, can we talk about this inside? Oh, really? You think I was born yesterday? Go play golf at midnight. Hi. Can I get a cab? Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Okay, thanks for your help. That's it! Walk away like you always do. Hey, you! Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. Yeah, I would if I had a vehicle to give you a ride in. Let me see what I can do. Okay, I'll wait here and take a good long look at my life, strewn all over the front yard. Thanks, man. Just let me grab my favorite iron. Just not getting that. Where you headed, homie? What a mess. A really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. I can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. So, you're just gonna leave all your stuff in the driveway? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin is worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? Michael. <clears throat> Good to meet you. I'm... Shit! I'm Castro. What is that? Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. Actually, I gotta change a plan. So, what was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And do you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? I don't know. I'm not that careful. 
Then again, neither is my wife. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. GWC and Golfing Society. So let me get this straight. You're pissed because she's accusing you of cheating when she doesn't know you've cheated. Even though you have cheated. Exactly. It's like a lack of trust. She'd be accusing me of it even if I hadn't. I've never done anything at that golf club except play golf. And that's the god-honest truth. Which is more than I could say about her spin class instructor. In fact, I wonder if her fat ass is admissible as evidence in court. Because if she's doing that much spinning, it should be like a bowling ball by now. Anyway, sorry. You don't need to hear this. No, I don't. It's a horrifying reflection of my own shallow existence. Whatever you say. Money doesn't buy you happiness. It just buys you a lot of therapy to talk about why you're not happy. Thank God for golf. That's all I say. You play? I try my best. What a game. True sport of kings. You know they still don't let women on the course in Los Santos? It's a throwback to a less confusing time, when everyone knew who they were. I can't wait to get to the club. See the guys? Forget all about this. You'd never believe what people do in the back of cabs. Don't worry, I clean it good. Wow! Slick ride! Hey! Okay, I am done with this. I'm gonna see if I can flag down a cab. Let's go! You bet! Here we go! Sure, we can stop here. Hey, change of plan. Galileo. <clears throat> Can't get any closer than this. Fuck you! Can't stand people anymore. No, no fucking mojado ni no tantos these days. Davy, how you doing? About as good as can be expected. But the news is not good. I don't know what you're talking about. I know you did that fucking jewelry job. Davy, seriously, you're imagining things. Fuck you. All right, I did it. Arrest me. You know what? You'll be saving my life. Because you called it, motherfucker. What? You called it. Trevor. A couple days ago. But we haven't really talked about anything either. But if no, when he starts asking questions about why you're not feeding worms south of the Canadian border. Oh, we got problems. Yeah, no shit. <sighs> We're in it. Together. So, if your problems are my problems, then I guess that means that my problems are sort of your problems. <laughs> uh-uh. Nope. What if I lose my job? Someone comes into my office, starts reading my files. They'll see the things I did. I know a lot of stuff. I can cop a plea, get five years, but you... Fuck you, you ungrateful prick. I made your career. Well... Then we better go about saving it together, because... You and I both know we can't let it go to shit now. What do you need? This guy. Ferdinand Karamov. The agency claims he's dead. We at the Bureau think they're full of crap. We think he's being debriefed someplace. So? Apparently, he has information which will put me and my superiors out of circulation. Those agency fuckers have got the coroner's office locked down. We need you to verify the body. So how the hell am I gonna get in here? Well, you've played dead before, haven't you? I have always kind of liked you. Call me when you wake up. I'll tell you what to do.
MacGruber! Uh, John Doe, white <coughs> male, overweight, in his late 40s, possible coroner. That's gonna be a good movie. The fat deposits on his hips and abdomen suggest a fondness for bleeder burgers. We're probably about to find one in his gut, still in his wrapper. Right next to the bottle of scotch and pack of redwoods. See the broken capillaries around the nose? Alcoholic. I wouldn't take any bets on the state of the liver. We still think 40s? Takes a toll. He's an advert for clean living. Note the discoloration of the teeth and the fingers. Smoker. Pack a day, I'd say. Probably cigars, too. I was going like there was no tomorrow. Yeah, he's got that right. Some people think they're immortal. So you get chest pains pumping away at your mistress. Lucky girl having this thing on top of her, huh? She was probably relieved when he bought it. Awkward conversation with the spouse. Might have got some hush money. It's a win-win. Only losers are the chumps who gotta cut him open to rule cause of death. What the hell was that? Don't worry, it's just gas. No, no, it's reanimating. You wanna cut it in the coroner's office, you're gonna have to lose the nerves. I've been around cadavers. This isn't right. Well, fresh is different. The ones you've seen have been on the shelf for a week. You can still smell this guy's breakfast. If you say so. Ah, the things I've seen in this place. Grown man, you could fit into a sandwich bag.
I love this video. Bodies that are more maggots <clears throat> than flesh. This gas bag here is a blessing. Get ready with the bone saw. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Ah! God, back ah! from the dead. Come on. <laughs> that don't look right. Guess you can't judge a corpse by its toe tag. I found the toe tag. Ferdinand Karamov. It's on some big black lady. Definitely not your guy. Okay. The agency have the lower floors on lockdown to prevent a leak. I got a guy who can cut the power to give you some help. But you'll have to get upstairs if you're gonna get out. Hey! today. the clearance to be here. Oh my god. <laughs> Just let me go. We're locked down. Got to take the stairs. For the greater good. You cut. This the way out. Down, everyone. Stupid asshole. Oh. Oh. Got a guy oh. down. Oh. It's all a big misunderstanding.
drive fast. Hey, Mike. F. Hey, we need to talk. Quick, meet me at those oil derricks just outside town, El Burro Heights. And make sure you're not tailed. Man, that don't sound too good, homie. Look, I'm on my way. Dave, the hell was that? You know how many spooks I just ran into? I'm sorry. They're not nice people if that's a consolation. What's going on? There's a big target out there. Something in the shadows. The data algorithms are reading off the charts. Whoever finds it, the Bureau or the agency, is gonna get a big bump in funding. Like I care about your funding. I'm out, Dave. You're not. I need you to meet my boss. We'll be downtown in the plaza between the FIB and the IAA buildings. The IAA building. You fucking kidding me after the spat I just had with those agency men? Relax. They won't be looking there. They never expect an inside job. Hey, Franklin. What's going on? You gotta get out of town. Man, I ain't exactly got nowhere to go. Well, then take a trip. A long trip. What the fuck is going on? Things, all right? What's up, Azalea? You remember? I, right I told you I know people. Feds who looked after me when I retired. You did? Yeah, I did. I mean, I think I did. I don't know. Shit, Jesus Christ, Franklin. I got so many stories, I can't even keep them straight. I'm full of shit. Yeah, but your full of shit got me a lot of paper. One score with you, I made more money than I ever did hustling. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm a great thief, but, you know, it's the other shit that I ain't got figured out. So what's the deal, man? What's the deal with the Bureau, man? This clown. I mean, he's an okay guy, fucking cocksucker. We did a deal a long time ago. Didn't go quite the way it was supposed to go. Wrong guy got killed. So I had to go into kind of a, an informal witness protection program. He helped me. I didn't reveal secrets of his, and everything was cool. The problem started when recently I became unretired. I mean, he shows up, starts calling in favors, telling me to do shit. I mean, look, Franklin, I'm working for the fucking feds. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, fuck, man, yeah, and that ain't even the worst part. <sighs> Did I ever tell you about Trevor? Hmm? Uh, man, I, I think so, shit. Well, if you only think so, then I wasn't being completely honest. He's, I don't, hell walking on Earth. That's what he is. Well, let's bury this motherfucker. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. Shit. I mean, Trevor and I got history. Complicated fucking history. Look, I've done a lot of things that I ain't proud of. Okay, I never claimed to be an angel. But you meet Trevor Franklin, you'll swear I am an angel. So what's the mood here, man? I don't know. Fuck. I'm just kind of a jackrabbit in you the know, background. Try to play both sides. You know, until I can find a way out of this shit. All right, man, look, man, you help me. The way I see it, man, at least I can. It's a death sentence, Franklin. Man, I, I, I ain't trying to hear all that shit, man. If the Bureau ain't gonna take you to court, them motherfuckers just hustlers anyway. And I ain't finna let no motherfucking cat think he's so motherfucking crazy, run me up a tree. Fuck that. Hey, you're a good kid, Franklin. This means a lot to me. Like I told you. I'm a terrific thief. I'll find something for you. Big. Now come on. You better take off. All right, man. I'm with you. 
I'm with you. Hello. Yeah, can you send out a cab to me? I'm sending one out right now. Thank you. Hillbox Hill. Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This bar and hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I gotta remember to write that down. And to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic. They should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. And why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. 
You'll run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S., Covington Supplies, off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet federal ain't on the deed, that's so. And we all like our federal government open and transparent. Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Nice car. Taxpayers treating you right. I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Mike, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Don't hit any more cars. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit. <sighs> Franklin. Come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't Bill. Whoa. What, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen, if you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. All right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got gotcha. you. All right. And we do this, and they help us bring Brad. Right. Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later. All right. I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah. Whatever. <sighs> The government gimp at last. Eh, yeah, bite me. Let's go. All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. Sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at suicide pack. 
The access point is on the west side of the tower. Get us in position so I can rappel down. The extraction point is on the west side of the building. You fuck around while I'm out there. I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it. Yeah. Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. You think we can't do that? We can. It's in our guidelines. I don't know what you're talking about. I installed cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, 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 no. You think you're impenetrable? See how you feel when this is 18 inches deep inside. Get the lube. Actually, fuck the lube. Let's dry dock him. The world thinks you're dead, genius. Soon you'll be wishing you were. Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, Gene! 36 flow. I got you. We are not clear to fire on Mr. K. Hey, all help! Don't, don't shoot me! Oh, get off me! What's happening? Hey, get us over here! Slow down! We got a window, T! Pull us out! This is unacceptable! No! Shots are coming from across the street! We cannot jeopardize the ass. Hey, why are we just hanging here? There's guys shooting at you, Mikey. That's unfinished business. Clean it up. We'll move on. You damn softy. You're gonna get us killed. You know that? Hey, I can't get a shot at this last dude, man. You gotta take his ass out. Whoa. I don't like this. Stop your whining. You're like a chubby, stubbly, hormonal teenage girl. That's it! Get us out of here! Roger that! Whoa! Looks like we've attracted the attention of their air unit. You got a bogey coming at you, Franklin! I thought I had the easy job. So long! Hey, it's time to stay on, homie. Nice one, kid! Hey, hold tight. 
I got some friends with the Bureau. They'll explain everything. You saved me. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mention it. The Bureau. The FIB. They will make everything okay. I'm sure. Don't worry. They'll look after you. The things those people did to me. I'm an American citizen. Put her down in the lot, Trevor.
Alright, I thought I could blow up that helicopter. Come in, Franklin! This might be the time to make your exit. We'll talk soon. Who are you people? That doesn't matter. They said they were government. I do home theater. I'm not a- I don't care who you are. Then why are you doing this to me? <laughs> hey, hold tight. I got some friends. more of a protege. Yeah, what, are you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, huh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Trevor, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. The FIB Townley? Why does it not surprise me? You are flying in restricted airspace. Turn around immediately.
Okay. I'm good. <laughs>